Another frequent question that comes up is, what images should I report? Now, this is a very difficult and very subjective question. So we're now going to, please don't report images on based on quality. So if you think an image isn't very good, don't report it because that could be a young photographer who's just starting out, uploaded, taken some pictures which they think are really good and uploaded them to the site. We want to encourage photography. We don't want to stop people from doing it. On the other hand, what we do want to do is absolutely stop idiots like these. Now, number one, ban any image that, report any image that is very, very clearly uh, from a stock site. For example, this says stock, shutter stock on it. This person is obviously not very intelligent. So we will ban, we will report that image. What other images here? Now, stocks from, photos from stock sites almost always have uh, generic titles. So if we look at this, images, 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 images. These are all stock photo sites. If we look at these photos that someone's uploaded, you can see each one is nicely named. If we click through, we can see that it's a pro photo. He's got some uh, details there. This is a fantastic image available for a download. Um, and it's obviously not someone, it's obviously someone you do want on the platform, not someone you want to report. This stock photo We'll report it. Boom. Gone. I'm sure you'll be asking, but why aren't the images disappearing as soon as I report them? The reality is, is because this page is cached so that it loads faster. So when you report an image, it goes to our administration section. We look at that image and remove it. And we then will clear the cache after a certain amount of images have been reported. This will then refresh the page and then flush all of the deleted images out of the feed. That user is now removed from the platform. If we scroll through, there are photos which are of a slightly lower quality, but you don't want to report those. This one is another blatant stock image. See the title, sunset, a set of numbers and the size. That's a stock image that needs to go. Uh, do we have any other? There we go. Oh, we've already removed that one. That bug is due to be fixed. Again, another stock image. Um, this one he has renamed, but I mean, it's blatantly a stock image. There is no way that person took that photo. Be very careful when reporting images in the members section, because when you report them, if they get banned and they're legitimate, they actually, we lose their payments. Their payments stop going to the platform. So we really don't want that to happen unless it's absolutely necessary. So do not report an image unless you're absolutely certain that it's a stock image. Now, if we go through to the free upload section, you can blatantly see images that have been stolen. I mean, there is no way someone's got a picture of Justin Bieber. I mean, it's possible, but highly unlikely. Again, the generic title, images, images, and something you'll notice is that if it's downloaded from a stock site, it's always low quality. So when it's uploaded to our site, it is compressed again, which means that the image is terribly fuzzy like this, which generally means that it is a stock photo. However, there are exceptions to this. So we have a fantastic photographer called Christopher Pinder on the platform, I believe. Let's see if it's Pinder Photography. Christian Pinder, yes. Yeah, so this guy's photos are fantastic, um, but for some reason he is uploading his images downloaded off of Facebook. Um, they are his images. Um, I asked him why he wasn't uploading or originals, but he hasn't. Oh, he doesn't know how to. Did not think to lol. Ah. So he also doesn't know how to reply to comments, but I will teach him how to do that. But this guy, fantastic photographer, so we would not want his images reported um, because he is brilliant. He's exactly what we want on the platform. So when you're going through these things, um, please don't report any images in here unless they really are um, nudity, pornography, and or blatantly stock photos. Now, you do say, what about poor quality photos? Now, these photos to me, I mean, someone else may think they're fantastic, but to me, I don't think they're particularly high quality. 
But what this person will do is will upload these photos, won't get any views, and will then either improve the photography or stop uploading. So the whole system works by preventing uh, or by encouraging people to upload high quality content. They don't need to be reported. They will be naturally coerced in one direction or another. They will either up continue and upload high quality content or they'll stop uploading because there's no reward there anymore. Again, another one. These images are, I'm not particularly pleased with them, uh, but they are images, they are abstract and they are allowed on the platform. But no one will really view these, so the uploader will probably stop uploading them at some point. Um, that's pretty much it as far as image reporting is. Um, I mean, we always look to make the simple, we always look to make the um, platform as autonomous as possible and many people upload particularly the poorer quality images tend to be uploaded purely because they're looking for revenue and of course if there is no click circles there to support those poor quality images the uploaders will rapidly disappear <laughs>